I'm Mark Reith here with Ron Gross, and our stock of the day is Apple. Shares are only up half a percent today, but the big news is that the company has put its iPhone 5S and 5C on sale. They did? I today? know, right? Who knew? <laughs> I haven't heard a thing about it. You haven't? <laughs> Tell us what you have heard. What, 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 what are things looking like sales-wise? Well, I mean, it's kind of a global circus out there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody's talking about it, including us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, all indications are that sales are very strong, especially for that gold phone. Mm. It seems to be uh, all the rage. They seem to have sold out already, mm -hmm. actually, in stores. Um, so all indications are things are strong. I saw one analyst predict 6 million sales uh, for this weekend alone. Wow, that's a pretty yeah. high number. So we know that the iPhone is an important product for Apple. How important is it that they get these new versions right? Well. It's of course important, mm. um, and you certainly don't want to have a release that, that doesn't uh, meet expectations. Right. However, what I think is more important with these phones in particular are what's inside the phone, specifically the technology, um, things like the 64-bit chip or the motion chip, um, which will set up um, better technology down the road, whether it's uh, phones or iPads or, or what have you. Um, it's a very innovative company. Um, for a while there, I think people thought maybe they were no longer innovative. Mm -hmm. um, I hope uh, these phones br uh, bring that, that innovation tag back to Apple, and I think we'll continue to see that in the future, next year, two years, five years down the road. Right. I think this is the first step. Right. So as I'm buying my golden iPhone today, <laughs> should I also be buying shares of Apple? We think you should. We mm -hmm. think that um, conservatively the stock is worth at least $600 a share, which is about 25% uh, upside from here. Right. Um, that valuation doesn't require kind of lofty growth rates. Um, it, it, we think it, it's easily attainable as long as you know there's no major flubs and we, and we don't see those uh, coming down the pike. China will help. Mm -hmm. um, today is really the first day that uh, Apple sales have gone on in China the same day as the U.S. That's True. exciting yeah. for the company. Yeah. Um, we see good things down the road, 25% upside at least. All right. Well, for Ron Gross and The Motley Fool, I'm Mark Reith. That's our stock of the day. We'll see you on Monday.